Hi there. It's just me. Because Amanda's over here. Look. Yeah, you, here's, here's Amanda. You don't have to show me. Wait, there she I'm is. Coming. She's putting... She's getting all purdy. She's getting, getting all my lips on. She's getting all dolled up. You know when you get up at like three in the morning <laughs> and get dressed in the dark? Mm. Yeah. So mm. I don't I don't put my lips on until we have to do the camera no. thing. No. Tell a joke and win money, everybody. Uh-oh. Tell a joke and win money. How much money can you win for telling a joke? So what so what is this? We'll tell you in a second. Well, I I want everyone to be here. I don't want people to miss it. Hold on, I guess the people! I guess the people! Oh, you want to see Amanda sneeze? We can watch that sneeze. too. No, we don't want to watch that. Can hey, you believe Debbie. she actually sneezed there? I don't I know if, if if you might have heard like a, a mouse fart. That's the sound <laughs> it makes. <It's> like, <laughs> we have a, a coworker of ours that works the same hours that we do, and every morning in the kitchen, it sounds like a train, a train farted. Train foghorn going like, on. Yes, you, you've heard it, right? Oh, I know, like, and I cheer it on every day. I'm like, yeah, blow the nose again. Every morning, in the kitchen. And uh, you can hear it through our soundproof door. Not that we judge. <laughs> Leslie Lawrence here. Good morning. It's kind of endearing. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Richard. The whole gang is showing up. Very cool. Tim's up. here too. Good morning, Tim. All right. Okay. So I tell a joke, earn some money. This is just not any old kind of joke that you can tell and earn money. It's got to be a good joke. Okay. Your kid, your daughter, mm -hmm. went on a college tour last week, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, checked out UC. She's going to be a bear cat, maybe. Mm -hmm. Give her a great scholarship, Bearcat folks. Stephanie's Please. here. That'd be great. Pat's That'd here. But sometimes you can't get a full ride, right? Sometimes that not everybody gets a full ride academically. Sometimes you have to piecemeal together a whole bunch of smaller scholarships. I would say most of the time. And there's $500 ones and $25 ones, $100 ones, $1,000 ones. And if you can, you know, if you spend your whole summer applying for, for scholarships, mm -hmm. you can piecemeal together enough to actually get a full ride and do that instead of having a job. I know it sounds crazy. But you can actually not do a job in the summertime, spend eight hours a day writing scholarships, applications, and you uh, can successfully That's true. That would, be, that would be like a job, yes. One of them you could do is tell a good joke. There are scholarships out there. If you do a video telling a good joke, you can actually get scholarship money. Really? Yes. Oh, I'd love that. There's a bunch of wacky ones out there. There's ones uh -huh. if, if you, you know, the, the essay is like, who I want to meet who's dead? You know, a dead person, a dead figure in history. Mm -hmm. There are scholarships out there that if you look, you can find them that are centered around, and it's creative writing is what it comes right, down to. Right, sure. And they're out there, and you can get a $500 scholarship mm -hmm. for something like that. Uh, Richard's daughter got a full scholarship. Bragger. Oh. Bragger. And look what it got you, watching us in the morning. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I, I went, I That's had a scholarship lame. on like a, a part of my heritage is being Lebanese, so I got like a Lebanese scholarship. Or just being Lebanese? Just for being Did you Lebanese. you just have to like give a blood test and say, look, I'm Lebanese no, and they gave you money? I don't know. It was so long ago. I had to write an essay. How much money did you get had, for being Lebanese? Uh, it doesn't matter how much. No, I, I want to know how much you got for being Lebanese. Yeah, what's it, got, what's being Lebanese worth? I got some money. It got me through college. Was it like $10, uh, $100? No, it was more than that. Was it more than $1,000? It was more than that. Was but, it more, wait, oh, wait, wait, no, I'm, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to zone in on it here. No, I, I'm not going to I don't ask, remember exactly uh, well, how much. But do you remember what it would be like? Because I'm thinking being Lebanese is cool, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are Lebanese, so you can't give like $100,000. Right. Are we talking like, right. it was well, probably like 500 Not a lot bucks? of people who are Lebanese know that there's a Lebanese scholarship. Ah. I, you have to write an essay, and then you had to update them on your progress. Of being Lebanese? Of your progress My in college. My Lebanese is going well right now. You're, I'm doing great. And how you did in college, mm. you would not get a scholarship. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Being Lebanese. That's, I mean, I'm just saying there's a lot of obscure scholarships, and that's one of them. Do you know a lot about, like, like cedar? Because isn't... Cedar? Weren't the cedar... Isn't that, like, you go back to biblical times, the, the cedar that was worth, like, so much was grown in Lebanon? <laughs> Lebanon, rather. Not Lebanon, Ohio. Yeah, not isn't Lebanon. that true? I, I have no idea. Oh, and you got a scholarship cedar. for being Lebanese. Hey, you man. should be able to confirm or no, deny that ask right me now. About tabouli no, or kibbe or stuff grape leaves, but I don't know anything about cedar. No, I believe that all the or the weird cheese my grandma would keep on top of the fridge. I believe the uh, the uh, all the, um, the the temple and everything in in Jerusalem they used it. The the cedars of the cedars from up there in Lebanon. I believe so. Don't they have a a, a, uh, a cedar tree as part of their flag? I, I have no idea. Isn't I have it? No idea. I don't remember. Wow, you I don't studying. remember. You've been yeah. And you got a scholarship saying you were Lebanese. Yeah, I did. I could be completely wrong, I did, but I, I think I'm right. I wrote a darn good essay <laughs> at the so, time. So Lebanese Society of Cincinnati, if if you just want to give me money right now, mm 
that'd be perfectly fine with me. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly fine with me. I'm going to have to drop some blood into a vial and prove it. <laughs> you got to prove it. Uh, see, uh, your daughter got a full scholarship yeah, that's at Richard. Thomas More. Okay, at Thomas yeah. More. Yeah, that's right up the street for me, to, um, Thomas More College. Did they accept you? Or were you like, oh, she's Lebanese, we don't I didn't want her? live here then. Oh. So, you know, the whole COVID thing, there's always, there's mandates at some places, some places there's not mandates, some places you have to have a, a passport to go into the places you don't. And around the world is different. Mm -hmm. Well, and, oh my gosh, is it, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, claim it's the wrong country. It's probably Lebanon. Actually, it's not. It's uh, one of the countries in Europe. Uh, maybe Germany? No, it's one of the Norwegian ones. Anyways, they uh, have a have a have a, a passport, COVID passport. You have to oh, have it, it's right? Sweden. It's Sweden. It's Sweden. It's Sweden. So what they did was is like you have to have one that goes in to go to go into a restaurant, and this one restaurant's like, yeah, screw you all. We're not going to follow your rules." So they let anybody in. You didn't have to have the passport vaccine. So what did the city do? They went to the local construction site and got massive blocks of of cement. Dropped them right over the door. The Swedes. They seem so, you know. Calm and chill. Block the door yeah, so no one could get in. Like, we'll show you. No one's gonna go in here. So they had this. <laughs> so, so the blocks were like are like this tall, right? And so they had they had one that was that tall, about eight ten feet long, and then they had a double stack next to it. And they're like, no one can go in here. We got you. So the bar, being very smart, who still didn't like the vaccine mandates, opened up a bar outside. They said, well, this is the perfect height for a bar. Oh, so yes. So they started serving drinks outside on the blocks of I concrete. Love it. I love it. Reminds me of, um, oh, what was that? Uh, what was that TV cartoon on Disney Channel with the two brothers that would build like roller coasters in the backyard over the summer? Um, oh, oh, um, for, for Phineas and Ferb? Phineas and Ferb. Love that, it, Phineas it, and Ferb. It reminds Ferb. me of like a Phineas and Ferb episode. Yes, that's fun. I yeah. love that show. I love that show. Yeah, Hang how on. long do we have? Oh. One, one last song here. Yeah. The other thing they did, which was brilliant, aside from putting the bar out front, is they said, you might have blocked our front door, but we got a back door. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, a, there's a door in the back, so people just came in the back door. Oops. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. Maybe what they need to do is put a wall up around the hole. Like, uh, brick them in. I'm sure that will be next. Yeah. They just haven't had time. But that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, which I guess they're hoping they will collect with fines. And then people, <laughs> then people like, spray-painted anti-graffiti or anti-mandic stuff on the block, so then the city had to come and paint that. The city's oh like, my God. this I'm was telling you. not a good idea for us to do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a tit for tat. For, that's, <laughs> it's hilarious. What do we got here? Show us your papers, and you will be free to be on your way. Sound familiar? Oh. Oh. Mm. You, you figure out what he's saying there. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> You're a little slow on the uptake there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got to roll because we have lots of big things to do, oh. including that trip. Uh, we want to get you to Florida. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to levitate uh, with us, go to Florida. What? You that's how you. That's how you, you go to Florida. You cannot. You go. You go up in the air, right? I'm just going to say this. Don't tell your secrets to Jim Day. There might be a well, song coming a up. Secret, but there might be a song coming up. Uh, go to our webpage. You can download every single song of the day and the hours that it plays in. And then you just have to listen to be the ninth caller and a trip a week. I think the first one, we're not doing it this week, but next week we'll do the first one. And then it's like a trip every week yeah. to Florida. So you have time to get registered. Or you can go to Arby's for lunch today, get some delicious roast beef sandwiches, and we, take that tray liner with you. Don't spill any as you. We have the meats. We don't have the falafel. But we have the meats. But they have the calendar. And they don't have a they don't have a scholarship for being Lebanese. By the way, is it Gold Star Chili Lebanese? I believe um, so. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Once again, well, mm -hmm. I know the facts about Lebanon. Are they Jordanian or Lebanese? I think I think they're Lebanese. Um, because I know uh one of the women in that family. I'm not sure. I think she's Jordanian. She could be. She could be the outsider. She might not be the blood. Know. She might have married. Mm. Into, is, there, is that? Well, she's gorgeous. She may. She. I think she married into him. Mm, I possibly. think her husband she is. Did. She did. Yeah. So she I think. Did. I think her husband would be Lebanese. She actually did marry into him. Yeah. All right. We gotta go. Y'all be good. Take care. Love hanging with you every morning. See ya. I mean, Amanda doesn't, but I do. I just. I'm just trying to get the favorite to sit up here.